Yo, what is up guys? How y'all doing? My name is Wolves, and today we are back with a very special episode. However, it's not the type of ex episode you would expect. Today we are doing a tutorial on how to properly set up mods for your flashing lights game. So I'm going to try my best to go in depth and try to keep it below 10 minutes so I'm not boring the hell out of you guys. This video is going to contain language. Do apologize. However, let you know now. So along with that, for those that do not know, FL recently partnered up with Mod.io. Which is absolutely cool. Um, so now instead of having to use Asset Bundle Extractor, we can now go into the main menu and install mods straight through the main menu, which is awesome. So along with that, before I begin, discretion, these mods are not two-way, they are one-way. Meaning, anything that you put in your game through the Mod.io browser or anything, other players are not going to see it, they are not going to hear it. They are going to see nothing unless they have the same mods downloaded. I want to make sure I state that clear. They are not two-way. I wish they were, though. That would be cool. The only thing they see different are the lights. Alrighty. So, if we go to FL, here we are in the main menu. If we could look down, there is a new button called Mods, which is very, very cool indeed. Now, once you go here, there's going to be a whole verification process. Uh... Go on to your uh, web browser, look up modio.com, and then from there you can make an account. You do have to have an account in order to install the mods, okay? Sorry. Uh, along with that, there's going to be a whole verification code process, so make sure you check your email, enter your verification code, and then from there it should look like this. Now, in regards to that, which is cool about, about this is I can now install mods through FL. I don't have to go on the browser if I don't want to. I can do it straight right here which is awesome so along with that all your account information no oh, man sorry allergies have been kicking my ass today uh so up here is all your account information you have filters so if i want to search for characters vehicles anything i want i can just search it right there and i can put tags which is very very cool so along with that i already have a shit ton of mods downloaded but i am going to give you guys a quick tip whenever you download something from the web so, not here, but on your actual web browser. Once you load in game, if you go straight to your files. So, if I go straight to Assign Mods, it's not going to be here. So, before you even think about it, go to Mod.io Browser and go to Collections. And it will pop up in the corner saying, so-and-so has finished downloading. Because it has to sync up with uh, what you downloaded from the web. Okay, I don't know why it doesn't do it over here, but I, I always have to do it from Collection. Uh, also, before you start your game, always click check for updates, and if there's an update, it will notify you at the bottom here, saying, hey, so-and-so was updated. Very, very cool indeed. So along with that, yes, I have, I have lots of skins, mainly because I review these skins to help modders out, so I do apologize for the mess. Now, once I have downloaded what I want, I am going to go straight to my subscribe mods area, and I'm going to uh, put in the game what I want to see. Now, before I begin, I'm going to hit disable all mods. I kind of wish there was a single way to do it, but unfortunately there isn't. And then from there, we're going to use Chief, for example. You have some people who make their loadouts like this. And yes, it looks very fucking confusing. I'm not going to lie. It looks very confusing. Um, and then if you go to, like, Sirens, then you have even bigger mess. And this is where a lot of people get confused, but not to worry. Wolf is here. So let's go ahead and install the Island County Sheriff skin made by uh, Chief, and we'll use him for example. Now, uh, there is a list on modio.com, which I'm actually going to get it myself so I can explain it to you guys. Uh, if you go to Guides, and then go to List, there's going to be something that says Model Tag Names. Okay, so... FTA is the Ford Taurus. VIC obviously is the Crown Vic. FEX is the Ford Explorer. CTA is the Chevy Tahoe. CHA is the Charger. GSV is the van. And obviously, TOW is the TOW. And for FD, ladder obviously is the ladder engine. Engine 2 is also for that. And then uh, rescue, rescue 2, pumper. And Ambo 1. I like the fact they call it an Ambo. Seems legit. And then you have Ambo 2. And then Ambo 3. 
Alrighty, so if you have any questions, always go to the guide um, because they go in depth about the characters, what characters are rich, and they even add um, photos so you can kind of see who and what mod that is going to be replacing. Okay? So, I want, being this is county sheriff, now a lot of people are going to see 1, 2, 3, 4. Now, what 1, 2, 3, 4 is pretty much signifying whenever you are in game, and let's say you're editing your lights. And let's say I go to appearance. I want to change the color of my car to either the white skin, the black skin, the sheriff skin, the police skin. I have four options. That's what this is signifying. So police, white, black, county. Pretty cool, huh? So if we go, I took a screenshot because some of the cars, they switch them. They, they flip the white and black skins. So sometimes it's number two, sometimes it's number three. I'm going to try my best to, uh, so the Dodge Charger, the white skin is number two. Alrighty. The Ford Explorer, which is right here, is number three. So number two is, ha, seems legit, white. And number three for the Ford Explorer is uh, number three, which is confusing. Like seriously, especially whenever I'm getting ready for an episode. I had to take screenshots so I know which one goes to which. But being this is County Sheriff, I want number four, number four, number four, number four. Number four, number four. There we go. So I got all my county cars ready to go. Now, uniforms. Cop one, F. Cop two, male. Well, so pretty much what this is saying is male, female. So cop one is obviously the administrative white shirt. The number two is the city police skin, the all black uniform. And then number three is the the really tall motherfucker, uh, which is supposed to be the county sheriff dude. <laughs> okay? It's legit. So I want... The last option okay so now that we have my county sheriff let's go ahead and look for a city police car do, 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 do. I wish they organized this a little bit better like alphabetical order that'd be nice I'm looking for uh... okay we'll use uh, Los Angeles please for example okay now this is where a lot of people get really confused they're like uh, this shit's highlighted but I can't can't click it. I, I don't know what to do. That's because you already put shit there. Remember we did everything? We put we copied these same steps on the sheriff. So it's pretty much highlighting what you already have in. So this is city police, okay? So I want number one, number one, number one, number one, number one, number one. Boom. And I want this guy these uniforms to be my second uniform. Boom, boom. So now my city police is done. Ready to go. Alrighty, now I want CHP. Gotta go with good old CHP, and this is where it gets really easy. Now, well, depending on if you are a community, and like for like for us, our highway patrol is under the white skin. This is where screenshots come into handy. So, I want my charger to be number two. Explorer is gonna be number three. I'm not gonna use the Ford Taurus. Uh, actually, that's a Tahoe. So the Tahoe is going to be here. And the Vic is going to be here. And I'm not going to use the Taurus. Okay, so now, last but not least, I'm going to put it for the last slot. So now I have my whole, all three of my departments ready to go. Alrighty, now, every, all the uniforms are set up. Everything is good to go. Now we got to deal with the sirens. So the first thing I want is California Highway Patrol CHP sirens. Oh, that's not the right one. Seems legit. All right, so this one, you know, the CHP sirens are very, very easy because it's pretty self-explanatory. They only have two sirens. But look at, I could see why somebody could get confused, but let's go ahead and take this for example. CHP whale, arrow, whale. CHP whale, arrow, whale, rumbler. CHP whale arrow yelp okay so the first word obviously this is called CHP siren pack so CHP whale is going to be replacing in-game yelp uh, CHP whale is going to be replacing air horn one which if you look in the menu when you're editing your are going through your sirens you actually have these options bullhorn one bullhorn two Q siren loop you have all that shit. 
Uh, Yelp can replace Whale. Uh, it's fully customizable. So if I want my Yelp to oh, replace my Whale, my in-game Whale, I can do so. But being we're kind of running multiple departments and I want it to be a full, like, full department, here's what I recommend. So CHP is going to be replacing Whale Rumbler. Boom. And I want their Yelp to replace Yelp Rumbler. Boom. Done. So I won't have to hear the whale, uh, the Yelp Rumbler, the, the original in-game Yelp Rumbler. It will now sound like a CHP Yelp. Now if we take the Eclipse, hopefully I said it right. Alright, Eclipse Airhorn, 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 I don't want that. I don't like the way this sounds. You see it's still highlighted because I already have stuff put there. As you can see, it's already occupied by another mod. I want Phaser to go with Phaser. This is where it gets really easy. I want Yelp to go with original Yelp. Oop, about fucked up. I want, uh, I'm sorry, Whale go with Whale. I want Yelp to go with Yelp. And I want... Eh, fuck it. I want their Air Horn to go with Air Horn 1. Boom. Now, I'm done. I just set up a whole everything. So now if I go to done, I will get a blue check mark. If I go back to main menu and I go single player and then everything should be set up and good to go. So as we're waiting for the game to finish loading, I hope you guys found this video educational and also helping you guys uh, make your gameplay better on flashing lights. If you guys did enjoy the video, definitely consider subscribing. It definitely helps me out. We also have a public Discord available. Link is in the bio. Encourage everyone to come check it out. There's also an area where you can apply to be a part of FL Real RP, which is very, very cool indeed. So definitely take the time to speak to some of our information officers. They'll be more than happy to explain it to you. So let's go ahead and take a look at the uniforms here. So male and female options. Boom, boom, boom for CHP. Number two is LAPD. Both male and female options. And then the big tall motherfucker. That actually looks pretty cool. Oh my god, that's actually really fucking cool. I like that. Even tried to do the vest, I like that. I, I haven't even really seen that. That's pretty cool. And then uh, we also have the male and female options as well. But she has a jacket on. That's cool. <laughs> that's awesome. So, for the purpose of the video, let's go ahead and do CHP. And let's go ahead and get everything assigned. Let's go ahead and turn that off. There we go. And if we run over here... That was loud. So I assigned it to the white skin. And... Boom! There it is. It does take a while. It does take a while. Police is going to be LAPD. Oh, he did. <laughs> he took my advice. He put stickers on it. I like that. It's fucking dope. I'm going to do another video on that. Uh, and then LA County, uh, or I'm um, LA County Sheriff. There it is. The uh, blacked out uh, unnamed Island County Sheriff. Okay. Charger. Come on. There we go. Alrighty. And there's our CHP. And as you can see, everything everything's pretty much working. Here's my favorite car in the entire fucking game. Again, I... He needs to swap the flag. He's facing the wrong way. He did. Fucking good job with the LAPD cars. Holy fuck. Alright, and then CHP. And there we go. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at the sirens, because I know a lot of people are probably like, what the fuck? Now, this is going to be loud because for some reason the in-game fucking shit's fucked up. <coughs> so there's our whale. That was loud as fuck. God damn. 
Uh, let's go ahead and go Whale Rumbler. There's our CHP siren. Yelp Rumbler. Alright, Yelp. Priority. Airhorn 1. So yeah, there you go. That's how you properly set up mods for uh, ah, uh, for the uh, FL game. So if we go ahead and spawn it in, it should load in perfectly. It will take, it'll always give it time. It does take a while, especially if you put that many mods into a fucking game. Um, it will take a minute. So as you can see, now we have a fully modded out CHP vehicle. And we are good to go for the next episode. I do appreciate everybody stopping by. Hope you guys found this video educational. Again, even though if I'm in multiplayer and there's another person standing right there, it's going to be a white uniform with whatever I had set before. Uh, they do not see the mods. Only you can see the mods that you have set. Uh, I mean, he could be in an Alabama cruiser for all I care. Uh, <laughs> so, just keep that in mind, okay? Uh, they are not two-way. Uh, they don't hear any mods that you have installed. They don't see any mods that you have installed, so keep that in mind, alright? You guys are fucking amazing. If you guys found this video educational, please give me a subscription. I greatly do appreciate that. Subscribe. I hope you guys enjoy it. Again, we do have a public Discord down below. And for those that are curious about FL Real RP, we have information officers waiting for you guys today. You guys are fucking amazing. We'll see you guys in the next episode. Peace.